Hello everyone and welcome to the 15th episode of CPP Next. In this episode, we will settle a small dispute. Which language does things faster? Is C++ really that bad and has so much overhead as people from Embedded saying? Lately, I've been hearing more and more that C is much faster than C++ because there is no such thing as zero level abstractions. So without uh, further ado, like and subscribe and let's rumble. From the video title, you might have guessed that we are going to use strtalk because we want to tokenize a string. We'll use strtalk, a pure C function that gets a buffer of char pointer and a delimiter, breaks it down, and we can get all the tokens from the string. A very pure function from string.h. On the other hand, we have basic string or std string in C++. We don't have something pure that tokenizes for us, but we have a fine function and we can do our own algorithm with it. String is considered to be bad because it's an API or basically an obstruction. And people for some reason are afraid of obstruction to make their code slower. So we will write our own algorithm and we will see which one will be faster. Now let's discuss what do we see here. As you can see, we have prepared three arrays to get all the tokens into the arrays. Each one of the arrays has to be with 13 tokens because the line that we are using has only 13 words and that is good enough for us. STR talk is just the STR talk that we all know from C, where we are taking and creating an actual C string. And because STR token is a destructive function, we have to create it in line so that when we will do it for a couple of times, it will be created again and again and will not be just a destroyed string, as you can see here. Then we are creating a token, the first one. If the token is not now, we are going over all the other tokens and filling out the, the array of char pointers that we have here. Then we are calling str token again with null pointer. That means that we are using the same string that was provided before, and we are still using the same token as before. Here we had to create our own printing function and it's not perfect, but it's good enough for what we have to do here just to see that it works. The string implementation is a little bit more complex because how string work, but we're still creating a string inside a function just to be fair to str talk. We're creating the last location. Then we are finding our first token and we have an I because we need to iterate. So then we're saying while in is not null pause because when we will not find something, it will tell us end pause. We are filling CPP talk 
with a substring from last location where we started to index that we found minus the last location that we started in. Then the last location, uh, last location is basically the index plus one because we want to jump to the next character. Then we are finding the next instance of the, uh, of the tokenizer that we want. And we are asking here, if we didn't find it, that means this is the last token. And if this is the last token, that means we just need to start from last lock and copy everything in. Then we can just use FMT because it's much nicer and cleaner. But we can go even further. Since C++ 17, we have string views. And with string views, the function looks exactly the same as for strings, but we're using string views for everything and not actual strings. That means we will have to do less copying and less creation of strings in memory. Then we're just printing it out. And in the main, we're using all the functions. And as you can see, we get the result that we wanted. Now we just created everything inside a quick bench. We have the same code here, just with the quick bench benchmarking, and we have the functions for strtalk, for string implementation, and for string view implementation in hand. Let's run the benchmark. These are the results that we're seeing for Clang 17 with all three optimization. And you can see that the string implementation is 1.2 times faster than str talk. Even the regular string with the more complex functionality, it's still faster than str talk. But when we are talking about string view implementation, it's 2.6 times faster because we are not creating actual strings. This is better performance because we are know what we are doing here. And C++ can give us more performance, even with strings, if you need them. Now let's look what will happen if we will change it to GCC. As you can see, GCC 13.2 does even a better job with strings than Clang. It's 1.4 times faster than what we got with str talk. For the string view, the, the results are almost the same, but, but that's okay. It's already much faster than what STR talk does. Uh, with newer Clang, you will get better results, but certainly we don't have a newer Clang version from QuickBench online. But believe me, there are a lot better performance as you're going along and your compiler becomes newer. So the moral of the story today is, yes, C++ is faster than C, even than the C functionality. If you know what you're doing, if you know how to use C++ correctly, you will get better results than what you're getting with C. And the code may be even smaller as well. So please don't just say that C is faster than C++. Look at what you're doing, try things, try to understand how C++ compilers work and how it can work for you. As always, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next videos.